We did stream our first run in the qualifier plan. We got to three wins. We didn't play so well. We had a huge punt. So I ended up deciding to do another run later on that day. So this is my run with the same deck. We still didn't get four wins, but we had some really nice games. So check it out. All right, I'm probably playing up against blue white control. This hand looks good. Would be nice to have like a harvester as a two drop, but hey, take what we can get. All right, they have two lands. Um, they're both tap lands. I think I'm just gonna take the Wondering Emperor. I mean, they have a bunch of control stuff, but that's going to give them the most value. All right, well, I think I like Thought Seizing again now. We'll take the Dovin's Veto, so we know our Fable will resolve. Well, unless they drew another Counterspell, then... They would have to draw Spell Pierce, specifically. I guess they can march the token and then they could get lost the Fable. They didn't want to do that. Did they draw the third land? Don't draw the third land. Pretty risky, they kept a two-lander. Ooh. Yeah, I think we can put a counter on this since we have the land and it's gonna make a token. I like another fable here. If they miss the land here, then I think it's probably GG's. Sure. They hit the land. They want to get rid of this, too? They can play their temporary lockdown next turn, so let's just use all these map tokens. I don't think I want a crusher. Well, maybe I want this crusher now. I might just keep all these cards. Make them specifically have um, a Supreme Verdict here. Which would be really good if they drew the Supreme Verdict. They're gonna go for the field play? Okay. Oh man, they drew the Supreme Verdict. All right. Oh, have them discard the farewell, that's good.
They do have this restless anchorage that is annoying. I could have considered getting back Tarvister too, I guess, since I have the Kiki. Just to make blood tokens? That's probably not as good as just Shieldred. Hmm. They choose not to put this in their hand. So they drew an Absorb, or they want to hold up a blocker, or they drew a Memory Deluge. I don't want to play my Shieldred into an Absorb. I could go Trespasser here first. I can make a copy of it. Maybe I should be draining myself or draining my own graveyard to do more damage. The only thing we need with the graveyard at this point is Croxa. A Deluge is a really great draw. All right, they drew the Emperor. There goes my Kiki. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. How many Emperors are they playing? All right. Just two so far. It's probably the last one. No to Fairy. Just draw land here. Alright, they want to attack with the uh, Encourage. <laughs> or at least get a plus one counter on it. I assume they attack. Love to draw a Fatal Push for that. The Slotsies isn't going to get any better, so let's see what they have. Alright, now we can put the gas on. They have to draw a Supreme Verdict. Just want to attack with the anchorage again. I mean, that's a pretty good block for the trespasser. But I guess the tokens at least let them dig. That's not a card you want. Let's have them discard that card in their hand. Nice. <clears throat> All right. I want Duress. I want Lily, Soren, Chandra, Ob. Fatal Push is out. Heartless Act is out. That's good. All right, this hand looks good to me. Nice curve.
Having Thoughtseize is so important in this matchup. Thoughtseize and Duress, and they mulligan, so it just makes our discard spells even better. Oh, and another Thoughtseize. I don't know if that's better than playing Harvester, though. They brought in the kitties. We'll take a get lost. We can play, probably play Harvester. They want to get lost to Harvester. I'm happy with that. I do want to take this cat, though. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll want to really... I Playing that Citadel seemed pretty awkward. So they have to get lost. I'm going to attack with the Harvester and see if they want to play get lost. <laughs> Ideally, I want to play this Fable. All right, we have a ton of discard spells. Let's just attack first. We can make them discard their hand. I should have taken Get Lost first, actually. Because then they would have had no play and I could have just finished them off. Now they can Get Lost the Harvester. That's a mistake. Should have definitely take and get lost first. But now we'll do it, because in response to this last thought seize, they would have get lost for sure. <laughs> I just discarded their hand. That's pretty funny. All right, that's what we need, though, is a bunch of thought seize and duress in this matchup. All right, well, now I don't want any more duress. So I'll probably discard both of these cards. They could just play Orion as a blocker. Which is pretty decent, actually. Um, Yeah, I think we just play Shieldred and Pass, and hopefully we didn't put a Duress in the graveyard if they have a Supreme Verdict. We got plenty of Swamps. All right, well, we can attack with this Shieldred, no fear. If they drew a verdict, that's insane. <laughs> Every time I play a creature lands, like they're right there with the demolition field or land removal. Be surprised if they had any more after that. 
Well, they gotta have something here or they're dead. Oh man, they drew it, of course. All right, another shielded. Need them to flood. Ooh, Ob is kind of juicy. Draw Wandering Emperor. It's a big shark. I mean, Shieldred makes them dead. They don't draw an answer. Now that's interesting. So if I attack, they could have a Wandering Emperor. They only played one so far. We know they have at least two. They could have another shark. Um... I'm just going to go for the win. Alright, they had another shark, so we're punished. Immediately punished. But, it, uh, they draw the card, actually, so they die anyway. GG's. I think this hand's okay. Hopefully we draw some lands. This Haunted Ridge is a little awkward here. Okay, a little Rakdos mirror match. Bangbuster's pretty good if you don't have another Thoughtseize. All right, they go with Bangbuster, but we'll just go ahead and Thoughtseize, even though we're not gonna be able to have a two drop next turn. Um, I like getting rid of Trespasser here. It's definitely the most annoying card for us to kill. Alright, Duress. They're going to pass up playing their Harvester for Duress, but I, I guess they do know um, I have the Fatal Push. And now they have to decide again, do they want to play a Harvester or go for the Throat My Harvester? That's actually kind of nice, because now we have a nice target for the Bone Crusher. And hopefully they don't draw a Shieldred. I guess we do have the Blood token in case they do. Um... The aggressive line is the fatal push here. Play Bone Crusher, but if we want to get more value out of this Bone Crusher, we could use it for the Harvester. The only problem with playing this fatal push on that Harvester is if they draw a Shieldred, then we don't really have a response for it.
This is going to put them to 8, and they're playing off the top of their deck. Hmm. They decided they liked what they had, didn't play it. Might just be a removal spell for Harvester. Alright, it's a fatal push. Alright, so we'll just play this as a creature and we'll play our hive. This will be a lethal attack. They have to draw something. Alright, nice. So against the mirror, I like all my planeswalkers. Oops, not anger. I don't like duress as much. There there tends to be a lot of creatures. I think I like everything else here. What do we want to take out? Um Probably Culligan's command can go. I'll take out one Bone Crusher. I mean, it really only hits Harvester here. Maybe you could even take out more Bone Crushers if you really wanted. We'll just see how that is. this plays first. Hmm. If they thought sees me, this is pretty bad. But we're gonna keep it. And get thought seized. And probably lose. But once you start mulligan, if you have to mulligan a lot against the <clears throat> Rakdos deck, I mean they're gonna have the thought seized and you're just gonna have no cards in hand. Alright, well I got a few turns to find an answer for this shieldred. Other than my own shieldred. What? Seems like somebody drew a removal spell. Why did they why did they not play their children? Did they find the answer? Oh, nice Nazis. I wonder if they drew another shield rune. I think they did. Yeah. All right. Need to find an answer. It's not an answer. Not an answer. It 
was gonna say I'll double block Shieldred for sure. We drew the answer. What's their last two cards? Bone Crusher. I'm thinking they got a land in hand too. Yep. Come on. I mean, we could attack. Exile or Harvester. Gain a life, go to five. I don't like attacking, because if they draw another Bone Crusher, we die. I mean, they can't kill this. Alright, have nothing. All right, Harvester. Hello. Again, this kind of is a little bit of a risky attack, but I think it's fine. Discard a Fable. Oh, nice. Let's go. All right, this hand looks good to me. A little awkward with the Muta Vault, but I think this is fine. We'll draw. We'll draw land, right? the blood crypt right on top of course we don't draw lands with this hand we're screwed they mulliganed all right playing against some malia hey blood crypt right on top did we not call it just go ahead and see what they have um claims annoying Cord's annoying. I think I take the cord here. Because I can use Bone Crusher on Amalia. Man, losing the dice roll sucks. I have to I'll need to like duress this claim first. Oh, I guess they're going to gain a life, so if they put a counter on it, I wouldn't be able to use the Bone Crusher anymore. But they didn't, thankfully. So it's kind of awkward. Um... I think I'm just gonna pass. And if they hopefully they play a creature with the trigger on the stack will kill Amalia. I 
I guess I kill the veteran here. Because if I kill the Malia, they just play claim and they get it back. Um, and then if they just get back the veteran with the claim, they won't get the gain life trigger. Another cord? Uh. Yeah, they can just cord and go get, uh... They can go get the explorer creature and just have Amalia go off. Yeah, I was supposed to... I, I guess I was supposed to take the cord there and not the claim because the veteran wouldn't have triggered itself. That was a mistake. Damn it. Should have thought that through a lot more. Um, Path of Peril, Anger of the Gods... Graph Digger's Cage. I actually take out Duress here. Actually, I will leave Heartless Act in. Um, Alright. Yeah, that was a dumb mistake. I should have definitely taken the cord. Alright, this hand looks pretty good against them. Craft Digger's Cage and Anger of the Gods. They do have the Seiju in their deck, so they can kill the Craft Digger's Cage. I could Heartless Act here, but let's just Bone Crusher. I want to try to save this Anger of the Gods for a good turn. I want them to play out their hand a little bit. Is this good enough for an anger? Maybe. We could definitely wait another turn. I really don't mind waiting here. What's the worst that could happen? We die. I was hoping they would play something else. But I guess they're not. Um, let's anger here. At least we have Heartless Act. We could play Kroxa too, but I think holding up Heartless Act might just be better. I don't think so.
That is why we brought in Graft Digger's Cage, my friend. I think we just play Harvest Harvester and Bone Crusher. Brought in Knight of Autumn. All right, well, that blows up my Graft Digger's Cage. It's like, give me a Thoughtseize here, please. So they can Knight of Autumn. Then they have three mana left over. It's not... They could get back an Innkeeper with Return to the Rinks. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I need to draw a removal spell. I need to draw a fatal push for insurance. All right, so they'll get back both their innkeepers. Well, let's think about this before we do this. If we activate here, we're all, we're not going to have enough mana to play both Mute Vaults, right? Oh no, we're one short. It doesn't matter. I can count. You're at one. All right, we miscounted land, still one. I still think the sideboard plan is fine. I wonder if you bring an unlicensed Hurst against this deck. I don't think so.
Wow. This is a, a terrible hand. All right, we'll keep this. Um... I think I have to put back a fable, even though I'd, I'd rather put back a land. Damn it, we should have put back a land. But I really want to get that trespasser going, so. All right, they have two lands. I don't want them to have anything in here. Um, I think I'm gonna take voice and I'll fatal push this innkeeper, I guess. But now if they draw one land, they can play Collect a Company. They draw the land. They did. I'm not going to take the damage. You can collect a company me now if you want. Lay your innkeepers in play if you want to gain some life. Alright, big miss. Big miss here. Oh, bat. Them having the cords kind of annoying. Oh wow, okay. Alright, they've assembled the combo. I feel like we're not gonna get this trespasser back. Man, if we draw anger of the gods, that'd be so huge. Or we'll just draw a bunch of lands and we won't do anything. All right, well they have, they're gonna be able to go get Amalia, but they won't have a way to do the combo yet. All right, that's a good card, but I want them to use this Corda Calling first. Then go get Amalia. Am I going to die here? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, they drew the wild growth walker. That's, that's unlucky. All right, well, what can we do if they just draw the perfect card they needed to draw? I mean, I guess I could have, I guess I could have played that path, but if I played the path, I mean, I should have, I guess I should have played the path, but come on, they drew the card, one card they needed. It was worth the risk to wait. All right, well, two wins. Um, do you get your money back for two wins or do you net? We net 500, so. All right, we'll take it. All right, thanks for watching. See y'all later.